Hi everyone and welcome to my July book haul. Today I'm going to be talking about all of the books that I've bought so far this month because it's just an exciting thing. I really want to share these books. Book hauls, book hauls, book hauls. They're just so much fun. Over the past few months I've been doing book hauls at the beginning of every single month and I've been incorporating them with my To Be Read piles but this month that wasn't the case and I actually did a regular To Be Read pile along with my wrap up. So, so far there hasn't been a book haul but I'm here with it today because of course I had to buy books this month because there are so many amazing books books out there and I needed to buy some more. I was actually planning to do an unboxing video and then as soon as the books arrived in the post it was impossible. I don't think I can actually do unboxing videos at all. I just have to open the package as soon as it arrives. It's just such an exciting thing and I can't wait any longer. I just have to open it. If you're a booktuber that can actually do unboxing videos I have great respect for you because I think you're a very talented person. The fact that you can wait so long before filming a video and then actually open the books in the video it's just fantastic, so well done if you are one of those people. So in total I have five books to show you today and as you may have guessed by the previous little speech thing, I have three of them from Amazon because they arrived in the post and then I got two of them from Waterstones as well. So without further ado everyone, let's get on with this amazingness of a book haul. So the first book I bought this month was from Waterstones and it is Winger by Andrew Smith. I'm actually part of a book club at Waterstones and this is the book we're going to be discussing in August, so I bought it immediately after the last meeting at the last book club and I just can't wait to read it. It sounds absolutely amazing. I believe it's something to do with a boarding school and the main character lives with a bully or something. I'm not too sure exactly in great depth but I know it's a coming of age story and I always enjoy them. I also really enjoy books that are about schools because they're so different to the schooling and education that I've experienced and I find that kind of thing really intriguing so I can't wait to read this. I also really love the cover as well. I think it's a very interesting cover even though there's a real person on the front of it and I don't I don't normally like real people on the front. I just think it's quite effective. I really like the way it's been put as a real person on the front and then on the back it's not a real person. It's like a cartoon kind of thing. I think that's a really cool idea. I also really like the spine. It's dynamic, it's bold, it just really stands out to you in a bookstore and I love it. It's going to look great on my shelf. I'm probably going to add this to my July to be read pile because I really think I will be able to read it and I kind of need to read it anyway because I'm discussing it in the book club next month. So because of that it's probably going to be the first first book in this book haul that I'm going to get around to. Whilst I was at Waterstones I also decided to pick up The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J Maas which is a series of Throne of Glass novellas. I've mentioned it numerous times, I love the Throne of Glass series. I think it's amazing, I'm currently reading Air of Fire and I love it so much. Can't wait to read this one. I believe these novellas are set before the first book and I think that's going to make it really exciting to learn more about Selina and how she got to where she was. I love her as a character but I think even more development through these books will just make her even better. If you're looking for a young adult fantasy series this is definitely one of the ones that I would recommend. It is amazing. So now let's move on to the books that I got from Amazon. Amazon were very kind and I actually didn't expect to be doing this book all this weekend because I only ordered the books on Wednesday and then they arrived on Friday so that is very nice of Amazon. They're very nice people because they send me books and they send books very quickly as well which is always nice. So the first book I got is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs and this is a beautiful hardcover edition. It was actually really cheap considering it's a hardcover edition. It, they tend to be quite expensive. This was actually a really good price. Also the paper quality in this book is really good and it even has pictures inside which is fantastic. I think it's going to add to the reading experience and add a lot of atmosphere. I've heard a lot about this on booktube again and I just just can't wait. The concept sounds very intriguing and every time I've been into Waterstones I wanted to buy it and then for some reason I backed away probably because of the price and then on Amazon I saw it and I was just like yes I need to get this book. When I was at the book club actually Rachel Loves Books bought this book and then that sort of inspired me to buy it immediately because maybe we can discuss it together, maybe we can share our opinions. So yes this is going to be an amazing book, a very popular book on booktube and I'm sure it will live up to the hype. The next book I bought was A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness and this is actually the non-illustrated version which is kind of a shame but the illustrated version was so so expensive on Amazon actually, I was quite surprised by the price, especially considering it's quite an old book as well. Old books tend to be cheaper but it really wasn't the case. They brought out this new version which is non-illustrated and it's still beautiful, it has a beautiful cover of course. I've heard great things about this book and on top of those great things I've also heard a very sad story about this book which is the fact that I think it was Siobhan Dowd actually died and she created the idea of this book and I think that's so sad. 
that she never got to express it in her own words. And then Patrick Ness took on her idea and made it into something that she would have liked. I can't wait to see how Patrick Ness expresses himself and how he takes on someone else's idea. I think I'll probably read this around Halloween because it's kind of creepy, I think, and it sounds really good. So hopefully it will be. The final book in this book haul is one that I've actually kind of read before, kind of, anyway. It is Battle Royale by Koshun Takami. Battle Royale was actually my favourite book of last year, but they brought out a newly translated edition and I had to get it immediately as soon as I found out about it. Apparently this one has a much better translation and everything flows better. And to be honest, I didn't find a problem with the translation of the first book, but this could only be better. And it's definitely a book that I'd want to reread anyway, so I thought may as well buy it, may as well re-experience everything, relive those amazing moments. It's intense, glory, graphic, perfect really. It's just great to read. I really love this kind of read. I don't want to say that I love reading books about children killing one another, because that just sounds like I have some sort of problem or something, but The Hunger Games is about children killing each other, and so is Battle Royale. Although I don't like to compare them too much, I think their ideas are very captivating and very compelling. You can't stop reading. It's just such a page-turning read. I can't wait to reread this one. It's just exciting, as is every single book in this book haul. So everyone, that is it for today's book haul. I really hope you enjoyed please leave comments down below telling me if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them I can't wait to get going with every single one it's just going to be so exciting to read them and discover lots of new worlds and characters but until next time thank you so much for watching and see you all again in my next video